Hello everyone. Welcome to 2 minutes Tuesday with Bala. Today we are going to look into our real life scenarios uh, where we use Azure functions. Let's get started. So the, the first one in the list is serverless API. So most of the times we will run into having situations of uh, building a simple microservice that would just emit a data, but you don't want to host everything, have a URL, have a security, having a custom domain and all those things could be easily achieved with uh, Azure Functions. The second use case I would talk here is the website redirect proxy. That is something common that I used with uh, where you want a particular domain that has to be HTTPS, but you don't want to host it on an IIS and have a site and configured and everything in that. Uh, Azure Function Apps comes in very handy when you want to build in vanity domains. You will have a HTTPS domain attached to it, and then you are just redirecting a traffic to a particular site. The third one is event processing in real time. So whenever there is an event getting triggered, then you could use Azure Function Apps to do a specific activity. So in my case, there was a situation where uh, if there is a form submission happening, then I need to trigger a particular uh, message to a service bus. So in that case, it is just doing more like a proxy where it is receiving the message from the HTML page and then I'm just pushing into the service bus. We want one layer of uh, security where we didn't want to expose our service bus. So in this case, it was perfect. I would just pass it to the function apps and my service bus is never exposed out to the public. As uh, integrating with the third party, uh, with the webhooks. Uh, so a lot of scenarios now with the SaaS based platforms, you will run into having uh, third party webhooks. For example, even with Sitecore XM Cloud, whenever there is a publishing happening, there is a webhook that I can listen to. And whenever the webhook uh, is hit, when the publish happens, then we would just uh, clear the cache and rebuild the site in next years. So this is one common scenario. Fourth one is more related to the data processing. So a lot of time, like I talked before, when the data comes through and then you can take that, manipulate the data and then push it to wherever the third party sources that you would like to do or even pushing it into a different source. The last one in the list is uh, the automating task. So a lot of times you would run into uh, automation that uh, at a particular certain time you want to run certain things. So in that case, uh, Azure Function Apps is uh, serverless compute. Uh, so it's much easier to configure and run it whenever there is a need. And also it will run on a particular schedule or you can make it more like an event driven. Uh, that's all for this week. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you next week.